Hey, Director Doug here once again, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we do some of the sound effects for the animals in Discovery Mountain. Now, for most of the sound effects that we use, you know, dogs barking, cats meowing, uh, and so forth, uh, hawks, you know, and loons uh, out on the lake, most of that we are able to find quite easily in sound effects libraries. So we find them in online sources or on CD sets we have that contain sound effects. So those are fairly easy. We simply find the sound effect we want and we put it into the program. Not a big deal. Where we ran into some trouble and where we had to improvise was the Foley sound effects for Gadget. The sound of his footsteps specifically and dog tags. So you hear his dog tags tinkling as he's running around. And uh, the dog tags actually were fairly simple to create. All we did was we, get a, we got an uh, audio recorder and we actually got some dog tags and we just tinkled it in front of the uh, recorder microphone and got those sounds. And then we edit those sounds in when Gadget's running around. And so that was really quite simple. For his footsteps though, we had to improvise. And uh, we were able to find some sound effects of dogs walking around online and in sound effects libraries, but they never worked quite right. They either sounded like the dog was too far away or too close up, or there were other, you know, sounds in the background of, uh, you know, of the dog bumping into things as he walked, and, and it just, it didn't work. So what we ended up having to do was make our own. And so the process for doing that is what I'm about to show you. So the first thing I needed was I needed my trusty audio recorder. Uh, this is what I use to do all of my sound, all the natural sound effects, so real sound effects as opposed to something that's computer generated. has a microphone on the front and records digitally on a, on a memory card, like a camera. This thing, this fuzzy thing on the, on the top of it, is used to keep any wind noise down. So if I'm recording outside, it keeps the wind noise off the microphone. And uh, funny enough, this particular device is commonly referred to as a dead cat. And uh, <laughs> I don't know where that all started, but uh, if you ever hear people in production saying, well, I need a dead cat on that microphone, it will look like this. It's a fuzzy thing and it keeps, uh, keeps uh, wind sound effects away. So started with that. And uh, the next thing I needed was uh, a couple of leather gloves. And then I needed some macaroni pasta. All right, I got the two gloves that I pulled out of the uh, glove box in my entryway. And I've got my noodles, my macaroni noodles, there they are. And um, I need something else. I need some electrical tape, right? Some regular electrical tape. And I take off a piece of electrical tape. You're thinking, Director Doug, what are you doing? Are you making some sort of a leather glove noodle casserole? Well, no. Um, although, hmm, Jake might like something like that. I don't know. I mean, he likes frog eye salad, so who knows? Anyway, what I do is I tape these little macaroni noodles to the fingers of the gloves. So put the noodle on the tape like this. And then we tape it to the glove finger. And what I'll do is I'll put one of those on each one of the four fingers on each glove. I won't do the thumbs, I'll just do the fingers. And um, you're probably thinking, what on earth will you do with those? Well, I'll show you. So, we're now here comfortably sitting on the floor. As comfortably as you can get on a floor. And I've got my leather gloves with my noodles taped to each of the eight fingers on the two gloves. Now, all I do, I put the gloves on like so. I have my trusty recorder here that's kind of aimed at where I'm gonna be working. And all I do now with my gloves with the noodles on them is I walk on the floor. And this is Gadget's paws. You've heard, I mean, when you, many of you that have dogs know that dogs have little nails and they often sound like that. And so this is how I do the dog walking sound effect. So if he's walking slowly, if he's just walking up beside Mr. Simon, and he gets a little more excited, and he's running around in circles around Jake as he comes in the door. And now Jake calls him over to the counter at Trekkers and he goes running over to see Jake, and that's what it is. And if he runs over and stops, he goes, Skids. 
And so that's it. And that's how I do Gadget's footsteps for Discovery Mountain. Noodles on leather gloves on a wooden floor with a recorder. That's all there is to it. So that's how we record the footstep sound effects for Gadget. But now they have to be edited into the program. So let's take a look at how we do that. All right, so here I am at the edit desk. Uh, need to wear glasses to see the screens. And um, here is the timeline. For those of you who have, who have watched a lot of the director Doug behind the scenes segments, you may have seen this and be familiar with this already. But let me just go through it quickly to show you how this works. Um, basically, each one of these squares represents a line of dialogue or a sound. So up here you have Mr. Simon. Right, George Simon, if I listen to just that track. Lewis, what brings you into Trekkers tonight? And if I want to hear Officer Lewis, I go up to his track there. Well, uh, Mr. Simon, I'm, I'm afraid I'm, I'm here to... So that's just, just the basic dialogue. No sound effects at all. And we'll have the door, the entry for Trekkers. And so that's the sound of the Trekker's door being opened. So as you can see, all those different elements get put together to make up the, the final scene. So, but we're kind of interested in the elements I'm using to make gadgets. So first of all, up here is the gadget track. So all of the things on this line here are gadget um, barking, whining, whimpering. And uh, this is what that sounds like. and some whining, he's upset. And so that's just his barking and whining, right? And growling, you know, because he's angry with Officer Lewis for wanting to arrest Mr. Simon. Okay, so that's Gadget's vocals, so to, so to speak. And then we have his footsteps, which, we, which I just showed you how I recorded. And they're down here, it says dog on wood floor. That's what I named it. And if I listen to that, here they are. And as you can hear, there's different speeds and then some jumping around. So those are the dog sound effects. So that's basically what we recorded. So I combine those with um, Gadget's vocals. If I listen to those two tracks only, you get this. Okay, so now we have him walking around, but one thing is missing. And that's his tags, he has dog tags. And uh, so what we ended up doing for that was we actually got some dog tags and we put them on a dog and we wanted the dog to move around and see what we got. And unfortunately the dog was making a lot of noise and the tags were ringing, but the, you could hear the footsteps and you could hear the dog bump into things and it really didn't work well as, at, at all. So what we ended up doing was we ended up re just taking the tags and just ringing them constantly. And that's what it sounded like over here. These dog tags were uh, just this sound. Okay. The thing is, dog tags don't ring like that. They're not constant. I mean, as Gadget jumps around, it will ring and then they won't for a bit. And then they'll, they'll just hang quietly and then he moves again and they'll ring. So what we end up doing is we do what we call automation, where I change the volume. Okay, so we go down to this line here. And if I listen to that, you'll hear what we ended up doing with those, uh, with those tags. And it gets a little quieter and a little louder and a little quieter and a, and a little louder a little quieter and so we change how loud it is to make it sound more natural and if you want to hear the same thing but in its finished form with music and all of that then we can play that back and you can just hear how it all combines with the dialogue to be the finished product here it is wait you're serious i'm sorry but I have to use the cuffs. There must be some explanation for this. George Simon, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. Well, there you have it. That's how I assembled Gadget in Discovery Mountain. And uh, start with the vocals, barking, growling, whining. Add the footsteps with the leather gloves and the noodles. And uh, end up with the jingly tags, uh, the dog tags and changing the volume on those to make them sound a little bit more natural. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it informative. And listen, there are other behind the scenes things here you can see on Discovery Mountain on my Director Doug portion of the page. So check those out as well. And hey, tell your friends about Discovery Mountain. I know they would just love listening to the program. Until I see you again, remember, keep exercising your faith. Have a good day.